This is getting a little bit hard to wipe off. If I let this dry completely, because of the sugar in here, it becomes completely glossy and unsmudgeable. Whereas the um, chartreuse china paint, china paint can still be blended and... So then you could essentially put like a, like a watercolorish wash over what you did in the black. Is it like light and fluffy? Um, you can also get lavender baby oil if you like lavender. Ooh, yeah, nice. <laughs> I, I'm totally actually having like fun baby flashbacks. My youngest kid is like 20 months now, and so she is definitely beyond the like snuggly baby <laughs> stage. And when I see like friends that have like the pink snuggly baby, um, it's to a very like light washy consistency. I have like I have the worst artist demo in the world. It's like me grinding things, and when it comes to decals, me like cutting things out with an exacto knife and scissors. But the witty repartee, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm okay at. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to uh, if you join me um, tomorrow, uh, Linda Christensen, Monday, yeah, I'll be here for sure. and Hopefully I will Linda be. Will I did. I don't what got canceled? Hey, hey, Hayward's classes got canceled. I forgot that she was like there the same as it. Garth is actually speaking again on Thursday at the Center for Craft Creativity and Design downtown Asheville, down the street from the Asheville Art Museum. What day and he has a show up the third this okay. Thursday. What time is the talk? Is it six? I'm not sure. I can look it up six, for you. Seven, um, um, but the show is up there that he's that he's talking about. Are you giving this kind of similar talk? It's a very similar talk, okay, yeah. Okay, so you get extra credit for... Okay, so uh, for this technique, uh, and we'll see how this works. I, I'm sort of oh, always flying by the seat of my pants. So the type of brush that you use is um, totally important to what the final look of your piece is. So um, if you want smooth brush strokes, get a nice, natural, sable, expensive brush. Um, but like I said, I like streaky um, painting. And so I love a like coarse slip brush, like coarse, dirty slip brush like this. Oh, and Tom Smith's giving a talk on April 26th. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that. totally, yeah. So you should uh, bring a group. Yeah, next year, bring Yeah, yeah, I wonder if he'll probably if the weather's bad. Huh? Well, oh, I was wondering if he, he was. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pushing every day. Six, oh wait, that was They're weather. just going to keep you in a panic to try and sell <laughs> advertising on the weather. Yeah. Gore's talk is on Thursday, February 11th, this Thursday at 6.30 p.m. And it's like catty corner to melon mushroom, mm -hmm. right, right in that area. Very easy street parking sometimes. Pardon? 6.30 is, is Garth Talk. Or pull out there. Well, we can't put them. Oh, yeah. But Tom, put that on your phone. Since you grew up in Nebraska, you know. So, I love to encourage experimentation with materials. So I've mixed my china paint with baby oil. And, um, you know, we already talked about marbling and using oils and floating them on water and thinking about ways that materials mix or don't mix. So the baby oil um, is allergic to um, alcohol, and alcohol will disperse oil. Uh, you could also think about detergents, soaps, and you can mix those with uh, china paints as well. So um, this is my... Cone 016 fake wood ash glaze. Oh, God, that's hysterical. <laughs> uh, and you, you, you could do this in brown. So, um, do you have like a um, run to her surfaces in the way that she, she approaches her glazes? But when, uh, so this is fired with no glaze on the surface, and the all of the stuff that's on the surface is from a kiln fueled by wood, and this is the wood ash like being sort of blasted onto the kiln, and there's enough glass, there's enough silica in that wood ash 
that it sort of forms a glaze like this on the outside. And if there's enough of it, it will run down. And it's not really running down on this, but I, I found that uh, uh, oil and uh, like baby oil and uh, uh, alcohol sprayed onto it, if I do it right, which we'll see if I got my consistency is right, I can get it to sort of form a similar sort of runny consistency. I mean, that by itself so is cool. pretty cool, but the streakier yeah. the glaze is, the better. So uh, awesome. And there are these amazing, like particularly pink Long your mind, right? luster wares <laughs> that, uh, um, do this with like this pink shiny luster glaze and it, they, they spray some sort of dispersant on it. So one of the things about this is that I can fire this, I can put another layer on it, and I can build surfaces to see what happens. So this is, this is my Cone 016 fake soda glaze where I have sort of an orange peely texture. Well, they hate each other, so they're fighting right yeah, now. Yeah, they're fighting on the surface here, so.